In a bold move, a faction of Citizens Coalition for Change CCC activists aligned with Zimbabwe's most popular opposition figure, Nelson Chamisa, is planning to stage mass protests across the country on August 17. This date coincides with the 44th Ordinary SADC Summit of Heads of State and Government, set to be held in Harare. Despite the government's recent deployment of military tankers onto the streets in a clear attempt to intimidate the populace, the activists remain undeterred. Operating under the banner, Zimbabwe, let's unite and fix our country, they have notified the police of their intention to hold peaceful demonstrations. In a letter dated August 8, 2024, addressed to the officer commanding Harare District, CCC convener Vincent Taravinga indicated that they expect a turnout of 10,000 protesters. The letter states, The purpose of the public demonstration is to peacefully protest against the increased human rights abuses in the country, characterized by the continued arrests and detention of pro-democracy activists. It is to protest against the denial of citizens' rights to assemble as enshrined in the Zimbabwe Constitution. Demonstrators will assemble at Robert Mugabe Square, opposite Rainbow Hotel. At 10 o'clock hours, CCC spokesperson Promise Mkwananzi confirmed that some of the notifications had been received by the police, stressing the legality of their actions. Because of the nature of the regime we are dealing with, we will take every step that the law requires. We have notified the police. There is no section that says we must seek permission. We have just notified them. The police are aware and they know that the protesters are secure, so we expect cooperation from the police in terms of the Constitution. We are targeting to stage protests in all provinces across the country. But in most incidents, police have recorded or acknowledged that they have received our notifications. However, Zimbabwe Republic Police CRP spokesperson Commissioner Paul Nyathi claimed he was not aware of the notifications, stating that such matters are handled at the district level. Despite the heavy-handed display of military might last week, which many view as an attempt to instill fear and suppress dissent, the resolve among these activists remains unshaken. The planned protests are set to test the government's tolerance of dissent and the people's determination to fight for their rights in the face of escalating repression.